Good morning, everybody. This is lesson one on the distance formula. The distance formula is used when you have to find the distance between two points. Let's call them x1, y1, and x2, y2. Now, those are the points. That's a, those are the points that we're going to be finding the distance between, and the formula distance squared x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. Now, that's fine and good <clears throat> if all you're looking for is a formula, but let's do an example. Okay, so this is going to be my x1 and my y1, my x2 and my y2. And now the formula says take the x's and take the second one and subtract the first one. So it'll be 5, well, distance squared, don't forget that, 5 minus 2 squared. Okay, put it in parentheses, square it, plus the second y minus the first y. So, <clears throat> 5 minus 2 is 3, and 8 minus 4 is 4. Three squared, nine. Four squared, sixteen. Nine plus sixteen, twenty-five. Now, the distance between these points is d. What I found is d squared. What I want to do is get rid of that square. So the opposite operation of squaring something is to square root it. So if I square root both sides, the square and the square root cancel out, and I just get D. Now the square root of 25 is 5. Okay. So now, let's try it again. All right, so let's take a look at that formula one more time. So I take my y, my x's, and I subtract them. So d squared, can't forget that. You lose an equal sign, you're in trouble. And I do 4 minus a negative 3. Don't forget to square it. 2 minus 5 and square it. Now, a negative and a negative cancel each other out and become a positive. So I have 4 plus 3. 2 minus 5 is negative 3. Now, here's a great place to make a mistake. You've got to watch out. Keep your parentheses. Because if you drop your parentheses, you're, if you put this into a calculator, it'll give you the wrong answer. We've seen that before. This is trying to say negative 3 times negative 3. And a negative times a negative is a positive. So please make sure that you keep your parentheses.
7 squared, well, that's 7 times 7, and that's 49. Now, negative 3 times negative 3 is a positive 9. 49 plus 9, 58. And now, what do I have to do? Right, square root. Now, 58, you can try and break that down, and it depends upon what the question asks you. But 29 is a prime number, and 2 is a prime number, so this can't be broken down any further. And the only thing that I can do is leave it in this form, if they say in simplest radical form. However, if they want you to give, you, give your answer as a decimal, you have to say approximately, because remember, you're going to have to round now. And you can use your phone or another calculator, and your answer will be approximately 7.616. Okay, and depending upon the number of decimal places that they want you to round, that will tell you how far out to leave your answer. Okay. So, let's try another. Okay, so at this point, why don't you try it on your own and pause your video and try it on your own. All right, so if you tried it on your own, hopefully that was your first step. Okay, remember, you want to keep everything in parentheses. So 1 minus a negative 4 and a negative and a negative make a positive. Negative 3 minus 2 is negative 5. I simplify the 1 and the 4. Now, negative 5 squared, that's negative 5 times negative 5 which is 25, and 5 times 5 is 25. Add them together, you get 50. And now, remember, what we have to do is we need to leave, we, we can't leave it as d squared, we need it as just d. So we square root it, and now to try and break that down, we get a 2 and a pair of 5s. Remember, you're looking for the pairs, so a pair of fives gets to leave, and the two has to stay inside. So your final answer is five square roots of two, or approximately 7.071. Okay, now, if you were doing this on a piece of graph paper, then the process is very similar, but it's even a little easier. So first, let's do this. Let's take these points, okay? Now, what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to walk and make a right triangle using the grid. I used four spaces. One, two, three. Three spaces. So what we're looking for is we're looking for the distance, which is this red line, that length of that line, segment. Okay? That's what we're looking for. That's the D. Well, 
this is now just the Pythagorean theorem. So we have 3 squared plus 4 squared is d squared. 9 plus 16. 9 plus 16 is 25. And remember, don't forget to square root. And there you go. Now, how you make your triangle doesn't matter, really, as long as you make a right triangle. So let's do a different looking one. So in this one, I made a right triangle where the right angle was down here in the corner. Let's do it a slightly different way. Now I'm looking for the length of that segment. How far away are those two, are those two points? Okay. So following the same process, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. So I made this triangle in a different direction, so to speak, than the first one that I did, but that's okay as long as we made a right triangle. If you wanted to, you could have gone up top and you would have had 3 and 7 and came up with the same two numbers. So now 7 squared plus 3 squared is your distance squared. 49 plus 9, 58, and then square root. And since 58 can't be broken down, we tried that actually, I had that same number earlier. We can leave it as 58 or approximately 7.6. And 7.616. Okay, that's if I wanted it with three decimal places. If I wanted less, then you would just round it to less decimal places, okay? You just always got to read your instructions. Now, one question that actually is very easy to find the answer to is what happens if the points are right on or left and right of each other or up and down from each other. And those pro problems are very straightforward because they don't really involve any real heavy duty math. With these, all I have to do is count how long the segment is. It's one, two, three, four, five, six. You're done. There's no Pythagorean theorem involved because you're not going left and right at all, okay? So there's no right triangle to make, okay? So what I'd like you to do is I'd like you to work on some problems just for practice. All right, so here are some questions. I'd like you to take a screenshot and work on these problems. And when we meet for our next lesson, I'll give you the answers, okay? Hope everyone is well. Stay safe, take care. See you next, uh, see you next lesson, which would be on Wednesday. Take care, bye-bye.